Hey what's up guys, today we'll be looking at how you can mod your Android device in a ton of ways. Let's get started. First on the list is an app called IFTTT. It's an app that combines lots of custom useful services. Here are a few examples like change the wallpaper according to different locations or even automatically archive all your messages to Google Drive or maybe even add every day's weather forecast to your Google Calendar. There are many other useful and mind-blowing services that can change how you use your phone. And if that doesn't satisfy you, then you can even create your own applets whereby you have to select the trigger and the action service, so that when this happens, then the specified task is carried out. It's an amazing app that you should definitely try out. Those of you who use Windows know how useful the recycle bin can be when you delete files by mistake. Now if you want the same feature on Android, then download Dumpster which will act as your recycle bin as it saves your photos, videos, music, documents and even stores your uninstalled apps as APKs. You can restore all the files but when you feel like the deleted files are no longer needed then you can simply select empty dumpster to clear it all. Moving on we have navbar apps. Now this is the app that you should be using to customize your navigation bar that too without root access. Here you can change the color, that is have it change with the app or choose your own custom color. You can also add widgets to your navigation bar, like a battery bar or maybe even a custom image or even emojis. The app also has support for a music visualizer that will appear every time you play music. You can customize the visualizer like change the size, type of bars and even color. It's a great app and new features are constantly being added with every new update. After that we have taskbar, so it adds a translucent arrow to the bottom of your screen that when you click on gives you access to your most used apps. You also get an app drawer icon which gives you a list to all your apps. The app also allows you to select an icon pack for custom icons and you can also add navigation bar buttons like back, home and recents to the taskbar. It's an app worth having if you like quick access between different apps. Next we have AmpMe which is an app that will basically get your party started. All you have to do is play music through this app whether it's in your library, on YouTube, SoundCloud or even Spotify. Then open the app on your friend's phone and connect to yours. This will make the music play on both your phones and that too at the same time making your phone act as one big speaker. It's an easy way to play music loudly without having to carry a big speaker around. Try the app and you'll see how useful it can be especially if your phone has a crappy speaker. Following that is status which is the best way you can get a customizable material status bar without root access. You can choose the status bar and icon colors or have a dynamic status bar whereby the colors change with different apps. You also get to select which icons appear on the status bar and even different designs for the icons like stock, circle or even retro. The app also lets you customize the status bar for each and every app. It also includes the help section in case you're having problems. Last but not least is Wave Control. So this app allows you to control music playback by waving your hand over the phone. Like you can hover your hand over the sensor to play or pause the music, wave once for the next song and wave twice for the previous song. But you can change the actions to suit your needs. You can also control calls by waving to silence or end the call. Other settings include screen off mode only meaning that it only works when the screen is turned off. So this app can be very helpful especially if you play music in the car so that when the phone is docked all you have to do is wave your hand.